Good morning. You know, after everything that happened last year, you remember all those cancellations, all those people that were camped out at the airport for hours, days in some cases. I think people are pretty prepared this year. They, they know what to expect, and they're expecting the worst and then happy when it turns out even better than that. So things actually looking pretty okay here at LAX. Uh, lots of cars coming in, of course. This is expected to be one of the busiest travel days. Yesterday and today will be the busiest ahead of the Christmas holiday. But so far, so good. Preparations here have been underway for months. Everyone hoping for just a smoother experience experience than they had this time last year. Millions of travelers were left stranded because of all those cancellations and delays. But things have changed since then. There have been thousands of new jobs that have been hired, uh, pilots, flight attendants, other workers. They're all now working for the airlines, and that cancellation rate has really come down. Now, of course, this winter storm pummeling our area has been concerning for travelers both on the air and in the roads. A AAA says about 115 million people are going to travel 50 miles or more from home between now and New Year's Day. Most of them are expected to drive. And travelers we talked to were certainly prepared to deal with the weather and potential crowds. We talked to some folks who actually gave themselves too much extra time. Yes, we were worried about uh, the traffic around LAX and then all the lines in um, at the airport. So we thought we are going to leave earlier, so we did. <laughs> and now you're here and you can't even check in? No, <laughs> because we are too early, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they got here three hours early for a flight to Vegas. Uh, just a warning, though, for anybody hitting the roads. CHP is starting its Christmas time maximum enforcement period. That goes underway at 6 o'clock this evening, and that's when all available CHP officers are going to be out looking for drunk or otherwise impaired drivers, speeders, anyone doing anything they shouldn't be doing on the roads. That period's going to last through Monday night, and there's another one slated for New Year's weekend. Now, uh, FlightAware currently showing 32 delays and four cancellations coming out of LAX and when you think about the amount of flights though going in and out 1500 per day that's a very small percentage so people here certainly hoping it stays that way and that this continues to be a relatively smooth holiday travel season here at LAX. I'll send it back to you. We know you're working through it uh, Chelsea the holiday period but we want to wish you a happy holiday. Oh we do you and your little cutie baby. <laughs> happy holidays to you as well. To you both as well. Thank you so much. Okay, while airports are expected to be busy this week, the roads are not going to be much better. More than 103 million people will drive to their destinations this year. So, to help you avoid traffic, we are breaking down the best and the worst times to leave. Yeah, all right. So, if you're leaving tomorrow, December 23rd, traffic will be worse between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. All day, right? So, try and leave before 10 a.m. Then, from December 26th through the 30th, traffic will pick up in the afternoon, and the best time to leave will be before noon. If you don't want to worry about traffic at all, the best days to travel will be Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Of course, depending on where you're going, that would may mean you don't have to worry about celebrating at all. That, so that's a lot. That's a tough. big yeah. graphic there. But basically, leave early is what. Yes. That's, that's saying. <laughs> Try to get there before 10 a.m. Right. Yes. Get up. Leave now. Right.